Mold Magic is an upcoming fast-paced first-person shooter game in vaporwave retro-futuristic anime aesthetics that doubles down on our dystopian fusion, which every TikTok influencer has become a billionaire, and now they have taken over the world. There is nothing else but consuming the content, and now your life literally depends on how many views you have. So if your numbers go down, you literally freaking die. And it's one of those times when I like the game so much that I just wanted to share it with you. I can't wait for its full release. I bet this game will go viral if the developers doesn't do something something stupid, but let's face it, it already can't be worse than the Starfield. So let's go through the demo ourselves and I'll try to keep you entertained, or else this ticking bomb will explode very soon. Far into the future, man and internet merged into a new being. Humans need dopamine every 10 seconds, or else they die. The world is now ruled by super rich AI robots called Robillionaires. Those who dare to live every 10 seconds of life to kill these robots are called moderators. Sir, initializing our live stream show. Looking for a protagonist. Tracking. Hmm, he sounds like a strong siren type. Sir, I'm going to call him. You enter the Peace Corps Justice app, the number one moderator streaming app. You will enter live stream shortly. Today's prize? These amazing sneakers. I'm risking my life for the sneakers. That's already perfect. Her on Two billion. <laughs> That's like half of Look the China. Her location. Right now, she's right in front of you. Watch out! Oh well, that's one way to stop the car. Okay. Oh, of course you gotta have that. So yeah, this game is basically if Doom and Hotline Miami had a baby. And now we have a 3D RGB robot slaughter with enemy rifles. And what else do you really need? Oh my god, I'm popular! It's my dream! And this game is very, very fast. Because again, you only have 10 seconds to live and the only way to survive is to kill the enemies as fast and as stylish as you can. That's why this game requires you to constantly move forward and if you are not fast enough, the viewers get bored and the company will literally take your body away from you. That sounds familiar. So I gotta make my way through the corridors filled with robots and booze? Alright. Oh hey, is that the girl from the beginning? Is she popular or something? Oh yeah, tiny TikTok stars. When you pick up a special item, you can finish off the enemy by killing them with a knife, a hammer or a fire axe. And who has never wanted to kill someone with a fire axe? Now you can let your destructive thoughts take over and feel the joy of killing robots by hitting them in the face with a freaking axe. Or you know what, with a book. Yep, that's a book. It's just what you always wanted to do when no one was listening about your favorite manga. If we think about it for a second, this is the most doomer shooter game in the existence. The setting is such that that people are so addicted to the short form content they literally demand you to constantly do something. It has a retro futuristic anime aesthetics and, you know, anime is going through what it seems to be its second renaissance right now. The game has hand-drawn Vaporwave 90s style which became popular not so long ago and it's so fast it somehow manages to keep your ADHD brain in one place. There are also some pretty cool references to other games like Doom or Metal Gear and the USSR. Does this even count as a reference? What the hell is this? Hello? <laughs> my boss? <laughs> yes, I'm your boss. You're my slave. Uh, I mean, worker. This game literally makes you feel like a god to your speedrunner. It doesn't even matter if you actually move like a snail, because you can finish every level in less than 50 seconds guaranteed. At first I was so confused, because I couldn't even tell if I was doing good. Is this good? 
<laughs> no idea if this is good or not. But then you start to realize that it doesn't really matter. You just gotta feel good. Go check out all the weapons, try every perk. Some of the perks are pretty funny and let you kill robots even with an empty can. Come on, explode! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that to restore your health, you gotta drink the healthy juice. Is this perk useless? Yep, pretty much, but it's just so much fun. Your manliness <laughs> weakens everything that dares to touch you. <laughs> Toxic smell. <laughs> what the hell is that? Of course I'll take it. And this is what this game is all about. Just having fun and eventually you'll improve your time. About that. At the end of the each stage you gotta kill the boss. In the, the demo there are only two bosses. Hey, the guys. first one is a flying tumor, and the second one is... a slightly stronger robot? Ah, it doesn't matter, it's already dead now. Honestly, with the crazy guns that you have, they become so weak you can't even feel bad for beating the crap out of them. You can die only if you want to experiment or do something stupid. Which of course, I did. <gasps> I died? What the hell? I wanted to finish him. After completing the stage, the game expands the storyline a bit, and by a bit I mean a very tiny bit, and you'll lose all of your current upgrades. But you can choose a permanent perk that either gives you a new ability or allows you to upgrade your guns. And of course, do I even need to say what I choose every time? Double barrel shotgun, baby! After upgrading the guns, they all feel like new weapons. For example, before I was a little annoyed by the small neck size of the shotgun. But now not only do I never have to reload, but I can annihilate enemies even harder. It's like killing them twice as hard to the point they disintegrate from the existence. And this game is so... So addicting! Because you complete each level in under 40 seconds, you want to play more and more, want to buy more upgrades, try new builds. Well now with this slow motion I can see that I die too fast. <laughs> and of course the stupid thing that this game is making fun of just freaking works. It just works! You see all the bright and shiny lights that make your neurons activate and produce dopamine in the amount no copium factory can. Stupid zoomer brain can hardly keep up with what's going on on the screen. Oh, it's a f ah. plant. I just tried to kill the f ah. plant. But for some reason, it likes it. And it demands more. You start noticing hey, explosive explode barrels. Oh, I can. Alright. Pushing robots into giant fans to get environment kills. And trying new things to make the biggest kill chain. And the soundtrack in the game is so great. It fits the game so well and makes you want to clear the levels as fast as possibly can. Can I just kick everyone? <laughs> What's the point of shooting when I just can kick people? But also, due to the obvious similarities to the other game, I really miss the Carpenter group with his dynamic songs that would fit the game vibes perfectly. And I hope the devs can do something about that, because this would be awesome to hear his tracks in the background. But then again, everyone needs to eat, and I bet it's really hard for an indie developer to sign contracts with such big artists. I made it seem like the game is perfect, but I'm a bit worried that the game might have potential problems story-wise, because this is clearly one of those games that put gameplay above lore, and honestly, I'm all for it. I'm one of those people who can't enjoy the game if it's just not fun to play. But if the devs want their game to become popular, they need to come up with an interesting story, and not only the setting. Because let's take Hotline Miami for example. This game became popular not only because it was incredibly fun to play, but also because it had a very unique and interesting storyline and an excellent soundtrack. Yes, the story was there mostly just to move the game forward, but it was interesting enough to keep you going. Also, I understand that this game can be a bit too much for some people. Because sometimes there is so much crap going on on the screen that Max Source videos start to make much more sense. Holy shit, this game is so fast. It's all shaking, I can't see shit. Let's go. I'm fine with that, if anything. But this game is still great, especially in our reality where most of the AAA games are just horribly disappointing. Seeing more and more fun indie games popping up is such a breath of fresh air. Like Lethal Company, it became so popular because it's so fun, but it was an indie game that no one even knew about. And Mallet Magic is so great from the gameplay perspective because we haven't seen anything this crazy since, I don't know, Doom Eternal? Or Ultra Kill maybe? And I already see people talking about this game, so maybe it has a very good potential to become a 
very popular game. Mallet Magic definitely became one of the most exciting future projects for me, and I can't wait till the game comes out. The demo is extremely polished to the level that some of the major AAA projects can only dream of, and the game just seems very fun. So let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the game. Of course, don't forget to support the devs, and you can play this demo yourself for free on Steam. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!